narcissists hate themselves. Narcissists may walk around like they're the shit and really love themselves. But the truth is, they actually hate themselves. And that is why they are often so hateful towards other people. That is why they are always so angry or disgusted. But many people often make the mistake of believing that the narcissist loves themselves. As this is the image that they portray. They act confident. They act as though they believe they are something great. But this is actually just a front to hide how they really feel about themselves. It is an appearance or form of behavior used to conceal their genuine feelings. Narcissists don't want anything to do with who they really are. They are deeply ashamed of their true selves. They are deeply ashamed of everything that they have done. And that is why they have to conceal it. That is why they have to prevent it from being known. They disown certain parts of themselves because they hate it. While a person who loves themselves is not going to hide anything. They're going to be open about who they are. They're going to be open about everything they've done. They're not going to hide anything because they're not ashamed of who they are. They accept themselves. But this is not the case for the narcissist. They do not accept who they are. They do not love themselves. And that is why they have to conceal certain parts of themselves that they do not love. Certain parts of themselves that they do not accept. Certain parts of themselves that they are deeply ashamed of. They are shame-based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. If they really love themselves, why would they conceal certain parts of themselves? Why wouldn't they just own it? Why wouldn't they just admit or acknowledge that something is the case or that they feel a certain way? They can't do that because the truth is 
They do not love themselves. They hate themselves. They can't stand to look at who they are and what they've become. It causes them great pain to reflect on the truth. So they deny it. They create an alternate reality or fake world where they can then make their own rules or interpretations which is really just a coping and defense mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. It's just their way of trying to avoid reflecting on their own shame and self-hatred. By disowning the parts of them that they are not proud of, which will then be projected onto you Because they can't own it. It's too painful for them to deal with. They have developed the survival mechanism of denying reality in order to survive what they perceive to be a dangerous or unpleasant situation. The problem is, now they will never get to experience real life. Because you have to be grounded in your own body, mind and soul to really experience life. When they're always somewhere else. They're always in denial of the truth and reality of the situation. Because they don't want to deal with their shame. And that just makes them even more miserable. Their body is presenting the problem to them. It's telling them what needs to be resolved so that they can move forward but they don't attend to it they ignore it which then leaves them to be disconnected from who they really are it leaves them to be disconnected from their soul and that is why they can never be happy or satisfied with themselves Because our happiness is meant to come from within. And they have disowned so many parts of them. For them to get their happiness from within, they would first have to acknowledge and hold themselves accountable for so many things that they've done. Which is something that they're not willing to do. So they remain endlessly miserable and dissatisfied with themselves. And that's just part of their karma. If you're not willing to own up to who you are and what you've become, you will remain that way for the rest of your life. Unless you make the choice to go within and attend to it. Unless you make the choice to accept who you are. But the narcissist will never do that. They are more comfortable living in their false reality, using their coping and defense mechanisms, such as denial, projection, blame shifting, and gaslighting, 
whatever it takes for them to survive. But surviving isn't really living. They're just wasting their lives in fear, trying to protect themselves from being hurt by other people. When there is that pain that will set them free. If they would just let go and allow themselves to experience it. If they could just do that, they would finally know what it's like to be alive. They would finally be able to heal and love themselves for real. And they wouldn't be narcissists anymore. But that's not going to happen. Because the nature of their disorder is to protect themselves from pain and shame. Which makes it impossible for them to ever heal. But that is why they feel this obsessive need to prove to you that they love themselves. Or that they are confident in their abilities or qualities. If they can get you to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. But really, it's to compensate for how they really feel about themselves. They hate who they really are. They hate what they've become. They just don't ever want to acknowledge it. They'd rather disown the parts of themselves that they don't like and live in this false reality, which is really nothing more than a grave that they have created for the person that they were supposed to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries can email me at oxfordcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.